Ah, taking text into the third dimension. For me, the biggest improvement for 3D editable text in Photoshop is that the word repousse, or however you say that blasted thing, does not appear in any menu whatsoever. It's not there anymore. Thank you, Adobe. Now we have, uh, you just make a text layer. Change this from anything. Make it some bright color because you're going to have trouble seeing your work if this is black text because you're going to have a black extrusion and the lighting's not right. Trust me on this. You're going to see it in a minute. Just have some bright color and it will, of course, change when we get to the 3D environment. It's not going to stay orange. It's going to go more reddish. Um, but all you do when you're on the type layer, just go type, extrude to 3D. Now, doesn't that make more sense? Yes. And you're going to get a dialog box that says, hey, if you're going to work in 3D, maybe you should have a 3D workspace. And that's a good idea. So Photoshop switches us over, as I told you, changes the color of my uh, material uh, to some deep orangish red. And all you do to um, begin working, this is, it's still complicated getting everything done, but it's much more attainable now. Let's come down to this handy little doodad to change our camera angle. And you can see by default, Photoshop extrudes the text some ungodly amount. All you do is click on the side and you see um, this has now been selected, this extrusion plane, and you change from the mesh to deform and watch this heads up display right here change as soon as we click on deform it changes and all you do is pull see down and up now i don't quite get this notice how the down arrow is big and the up arrow is small well <laughs> you pull down to make it smaller <laughs> to decrease i don't get that uh, somebody will explain it to me you pull up to increase got it so you season to taste, you get this exactly how you want it, you know, something that makes more sense to you. And there you go. That is the beginning of 3D text. There's a lot more, you know, lighting, texturing, all that. Um, again, the default textures in Photoshop, if we click on the front, we can get to the textures and, you know, the pull down here is just our solid color. That's what this is right here. You can change that color just by clicking and you know, selecting something else and, you know, it changes that color. But if you want any kind of texture, I think we're going to have to rely on third parties because once again, the default textures that ship with this are, uh, I don't know any other word. They're useless. <laughs> this is, you're not going to be using those. Um, so either third parties or Adobe is going to come out with something and who knows, maybe if we come in here and it says load selections, maybe I just haven't found, or load material, excuse me, I just haven't found the very cool materials that do ship um, with Photoshop. I haven't found those yet. Uh, but <laughs> that's what our community's for. We will make all kinds of cool textures, um, figure out lighting and all that good stuff uh, coming up in future videos. But for now, 3D text in Photoshop is so much easier. And no more repose.